from officials in New York. This is their new mantra. The days of $300 a night hotel rooms in Manhattan for asylum seekers are over. Opening today, new housing for up to 2,000 migrants and their families at Floyd Bennett Field in Brooklyn, a nearly century-old facility. It was, in fact, New York City's first municipal airport way back when. The federal government operates that field. So how will this work, and will it be enough in terms of beds? Darla Miles, live at Floyd Bennett Field with the latest. Darla? Well, Bill, the city is rather proud of what it has been able to accomplish here, considering the physical lack of shelter space across the city and the ballooning cost of the asylum seeker crisis. In fact, this afternoon, Governor Hochul said this is what the city, with the New York's response, will most likely look like moving forward in dealing with this crisis. We cannot continue to be paying for unlimited hotel rooms for people, uh, that these congregate settings are the way to go. Migrant families with children will soon take shelter here at the Floyd Bennett Field Humanitarian Relief Center in Brooklyn. This is being considered the best of a bad list of options to address the migrant crisis. We're approaching $2 billion already this year, so that's $1 billion more than we anticipated. There are four main areas. The first tent is the intake center. Behind that, the cafeteria. Next are the bathroom and shower trailers, and finally, the dormitories with pods for families. The center initially opening up with enough space for 500 people, max capacity 2,000. It'll fill up as fast as people continue to come to us. It could be a matter of days, it could be a matter of weeks. Elected officials touring the site early Monday morning. We're going to do our very best. I ask all the questions. The public advocate, advocate asks all the questions. We need to make sure people are safe. The city saying it is safe, meeting DOB requirements for fire safety, and is already elevated for flood mitigation. When this runway was built around World War II, this runway is actually crowned so that where we're standing is actually significantly higher than the sides. The shelter opening despite ongoing protest and a federal lawsuit filed by a group of elected officials against it, which reads, the intent of Congress was not to utilize these protected parklands for housing people on a permanent or temporary basis. Coming to a national park is so egregious uh, and it opens the door and it sets a precedent for every other national park. It is also overshadowed by the city's request to suspend the city's right to shelter law. We can't start taking those rights away. What we need to be doing is put pressure on the governor and the White House so that other folks are dealing with some of the responsibilities. So this is again a live look beyond the perimeter gates at the Humanitarian Crisis Center here at Floyd Bennett Field. You may see a number of uh, men in hard hats and, and yellow vests. They're putting the finishing touches on some light construction activity needed to complete the setup of this humanitarian center. At this point, there is no specific timeline as to when the first group of migrants will arrive here from the Roosevelt Hotel, but that is expected to happen within the next day or so, again, after this construction is complete.